Hello, everybody. This is Suri, and I am here with Sunk, and we are on the Cremptress podcast. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. And if you're not new to the channel and you're one of our many wonderful subscribers who have been giving us love and views and attention because we're so hungry for attention, thank you so much. Uh, please do like, share and subscribe. We are two friends who talk about movies and we talk about basically anything that makes movies good and makes movies interesting and we also cover shows. We've done a bunch of reviews over the past couple of weeks. We've done Succession. Uh, we will be doing Mrs. Maisel, the final season when when it's done. <laughs> we did Ted Lasso. Um, we also cover a lot of quirky, underrated cinema. Do check out our playlist. We have a pretty impressive collection of movie recommendations. So do follow, do like, share and subscribe. And uh, thank you so much for watching. What are we going to do today, Sank? What is what is the purpose of today? <laughs> we're going saying? to do. We're going to do what is probably the last great rom com that Bollywood offered. Okay. I don't think there has been anything after twenty ten, mm -hmm. after this movie. Mm -hmm. Like. I, I was actually doing research and I found out that there hasn't actually been a great rom-com that has existed after this movie. Like, so 2000s was known. So this is what happened, right? Like in Bollywood, maybe like 90s and 80s were about like the romantic comedies were about the usual social social situations, right? Like where either the boy or a girl is rich and the other person, other one is poor and then yes. families get involved there's, fam there are fam there's family feud and all those things and then there's that happened very Romeo Juliet esque yes. situation yep absolutely yes. and then in 2000s we entered the urban rom-com mm -hmm. where movies like Salam Namaste and Ham Tum came into being and then somewhat what changed was hello yeah okay okay sorry you got the and then somewhat something changed where this movie came up. Okay. And obviously, like, how can we forget Jab We Met? And then in 2010, this amazing movie came called Vayan Baja Bharat. And it was it was urban, but this it was a Delhi, Delhi spin on it. Right. So yes, we had definitely seen definitely Delhi spin and also very uh very acceptable, realistic storylines that like storylines that make sense like generally when there's a rom-com especially in indian cinema you know the, the the girl and the boy fall in love and cut to you're suddenly in switzerland hanging mm -hmm. out with the cool ass flowers <laughs> having a good ass time yeah. and um you're in the snow and a sari and and this movie isn't that way it, it pretty much shows how real people when they when they have an attraction to each other how does it generally transpire between two very typical middle class kids who have a dream and have you know and have their whole lives ahead of them what is that romance like not the teenage i'm gonna hide from my parents kind of romance but more of i used to be a teenager i i am an ex-teenager with a bank account now <laughs> these are the things i i can do and that's pretty much how why the story is so special to us, I guess. It's like, it's also unconventional in the way because the romantic angle yeah. hasn't been explored in the movie like till like the second half or something. Mm -hmm. Like they have played around with it in the first half. Like obviously Bittu's uh, infatuated by her. Yes. He's obviously attracted by her, but yes. she is not giving him any kind of bhav. Yeah. So no bhav, she... no ghas. Not Which is, uh, if you're not familiar, she's not giving him the time of day. <laughs> yes. So what happens is, this is how Bitu's attraction starts. He gate crashes a wedding with his friends. And she stops him. She recognizes that he's not from either of the, either of the wedding sides. Mm -hmm. So she stops him from having the food and that's how I think his attraction starts it I don't think it was a dancing it was actually he was at, attracted by her alpha female personality yeah she's quite she's quite the dom mommy if you think about yeah. it. 
<laughs> she's she's extremely uh very oh very God. headstrong character not at all you know the, the uh, again massive break from the stereotypes even this actress's debut had a very typical stereotype you know where the yes. heroine is very demure and 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 sweet and and mostly docile but but very kind she's not that way she's not forgiving she's very true to her ideal she cares very deeply about her ambitions and her dreams and you get to see that within the first first five minutes you get to see the difference between the two, the two characters where there's this one boy who's still in you know in hostel and he's graduating soon and he's collecting money from people so they can gate crash a wedding and eat for you know for i guess free over there and and he comes face to face with a girl who's the same age as he is at, at least that's what that looks like uh he's possibly her senior i i guess or maybe i, I don't know but they seem like they're the same age and he comes face to face yeah with they graduated the, at the same time on the same yeah oh right and uh, she's very uh, she's doing an internship while she's studying and she is um, trying to break into the wedding industry which i think is the best topic when it comes to indian cinema there isn't a better way to break into like the concept of industry and something as vast and as my my goodness as profit inducing as the wedding industry in india um the the other show that we watch made in heaven it it basically oh, yes right i did it's, not think of made in heaven like i oh yeah might have thought about bangalore but that while i was watching the show but mm-hmm. i completely forgot about made, made in heaven in- and during the yeah, we, yeah, yeah because made in heaven again is this other show which is about the wedding, wedding industry it's about like people who don't have a lot of resources on their own but there's this one girl married to a very rich guy and then um another guy who's kind of like middle class trying to break into the wedding industry and and the fact that this exists you know way in when when was band baja bharat 2010 2010 yeah and it, i it, get you know how i yeah. uh know this because like i i get confused between 20 2009 and 2010 but <laughs> it's a sequence i don't know why there's a marriage sequence when all so, like the whole wedding parties they are singing all is well from the three idiots which was which is like 2009 and what? that's how i know this <laughs> yeah they're just singing all is well oh okay i see um but... that's how i know that this was yeah this was the start of the decade <laughs> so weird that that's how you remember okay. that's weird it's so weird i i'm not even going to keep this in the recording uh no i think i think you should keep it because it's uh, this is how this is how <laughs> you and i generally have a conversations where i'm talking about something and you can pull a historical date out of thin air basically and say you know why i know this is correct because of this other weird also because also because i'm very specific about movie release years yes you are he is give me comment any movie and i'll reply on the movie year that it was released on you do realize that that is ridiculous right (laughs) why that's and by the time you see it you could look it up and then they'll know there's no way for them to know that you're actually good at it Trust I me, barely, obviously trust, trust it. I barely. The only okay, thing we I can, trust you about is movie years. But okay, we can do. It, we can do a live session then. Yeah, and we let's should do, do a live. Let's have a live yeah. stream and let's quiz Sanket on on literally movie years. He's he's surprisingly good at it. Like it it is shocking, and it's not just like Hindi cinema. Any cinema that is like that would be considered like global cinema that you know people know of, and he can. Like you cannot play twenty questions with him with a actor, because he'll immediately ask, "Uh, did they win an Oscar? Uh, <laughs> did they win an Oscar from the years nineteen ninety to nineteen ninety five? And they and he immediately knows it's not just movies; it's Oscar awards and and whether they were nominated or not. So yeah, he, he I will give you that you are pretty good at that. Fritz Lang, Fritz Lang's Metropolis, nineteen twenty seven. Boom, go. Okay, so sorry. Continue. coming back to the movie. Uh, th- there is there is something phenomenal about how the story was written because it is about breaking into the wedding industry and uh, doing it from scratch to not have any financial funding because Made in Heaven is about people who have some 
financial funding. But this movie is about people who don't. And when you don't have any, any you know, rich parents to like, you know, pull you out of trouble, how do you break into this industry? And there is so much sweetness to the story because this girl, she walks around with a little journal and she sticks like all her... <laughs> all her themes for her wedding and she has her company's name uh, the logo on uh, on the journal it's called Shadi Mubarak which basically means congratulations on your wedding and it's so it's so cute in the first in in the first couple of minutes that you're introduced to her she reveals who she is and she's extremely she's a total dog mommy she knows exactly <laughs> <laughs> exactly what she wants from her life and that's what hey, makes her so cute which makes me think maybe Bittu is Roman from succession he could be yes he could be. he could also be reading Omega Wars <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know why we're laughing about this please check out our successions meme review um, if you watch Succession, you will love that video, and uh, it's. But yeah, I think, I think yeah, Betu likes to be ordered mm. around. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it was a dance that caught him. No, I think it was. Please come to the side, and yeah. her calling him a very cheapra, which is literally, which literally means a cheap person. Cheapo. Not sicko. Yep. It means cheapo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to uh, has daddy issues. Bitu has mommy issues. Very clearly. Ah. Okay. So I was talking about the unconventional part in this wrong com, right? Like, uh, like I said, like the romantic angle hasn't been explored in the second, like till the second half. Like maybe... We start with Bittu's attraction, but that also goes away after he does, like, after he's serious about doing business with her. Like, I think he wanted to do because just to spend a lot of time with her. Maybe that's, that's, that could be one of the reasons. But yeah, we, we actually forget about that for a while that he, he likes her and everything. And she's obviously not interested in him yeah. until a certain point. I think when do you think that changes like obviously can we spoil about what happens in this yeah we're going to spoil the movie yeah, we, guys we because can. i mean okay, we so... have to spoil the movies so that we can talk about why the movie is so good like okay, like fine. if you're if you've not watched the movie watch the movie come back and and then mm -hmm. listen to us yap about it but we we are going to spoil it guys okay. we're sorry <laughs> so i want to <laughs> yes i want to uh, talk about this thing only like obviously like she we see her affection after they do it but when do you think that changed for her so um there is this very obvious like sexual tension between them huh. for a while right for mm -hmm. me honestly it begins i don't know if she realizes that she has like an, an attraction towards him but it definitely begins in the bus when he shows up so post the wedding scene he shows up with a video recording of hers and this is the time of cds and cd recordings so he he hands her a cd and he says you know like i i, I recorded you dancing and you should send this into indian idol or whatever and i don't know become famous you're a fantastic <laughs> dancer and he basically he was hitting on her and and the way he tracks her down is so interesting he calls up the wedding planner and <laughs> <laughs> you know like that girl that you know arranged the uh, assisted you in the wedding she's like she's so pretty and you know all the people are asking about her and like look she's that like so arranging funny. for people's marriages and she's got she's getting marriage proposals herself and he pretended to be someone's uncle or something <laughs> yeah <laughs> and and then when i think he on the other side he hears that you know that she doesn't want to get married and and he goes, why? <laughs> and I like, oh, she wants to study. Absolutely. I mean, like how the graduation is not that far away. Like, he's yeah. <laughs> very, Ranveer Singh is a fantastic actor. But I think he, Oh, yeah. I want to talk about him. He played this role just like... Like, imagine like 
this this came out in 2010 and i think if i was a bit older when i saw it for the first time i would have immediately known that this guy is a superstar i think back then a lot of people did not realize because he didn't get his due up until like what baji rao mistani which was like 5 6 years later right like he was doing great roles like even in band baja bharat his this was his first movie and he still has the same energy that he has today that is so hard to hard that that is such a hard skill to have right Absolutely. like to be in your a game right from your from your first movie and if i would have seen like if i would have been older when i saw band baja bharat for the first time i would have known that this guy is a superstar like mm-hmm. nobody can stop him Mm-hmm. it was like that for me mm-hmm. and it's such like this this came on the start of the decade and now we are the now the now that like by the end of 2010 he was already like probably one of the biggest superstars right mm-hmm. but what i what i admire about him in band baja bharat is he makes us realize how big a chameleon he is like mm-hmm. even from even in the first movie, he's he's not a Delhi Delhi guy, right? I think he's from Bombay and he's done his education. He's done his education in the US. Yeah. So for him to him to have this bit two, this channeling is bit two, right in the first movie like this, I think that that was that was really good. I mean, it was a fantastic actor. Even. Even I mean, if you if you take into context of if you completely remove the the context of the city and where he came from and what he's done, we've seen like actors, you know, like when Manoj Bajpayee played the Bombay gangster in Satya, he's a dirty uh-huh. man, and he when is. he does that last dance in Sapno Me Milti, and he's like completely losing his oh. crap, and he's just having a good time, and you know the typical Visarjan dance that you see, and you see these these men and these uncles like get it on on the streets he there are some people who just completely disassociate with who they are and they just yeah. pull it off somehow then we saying also falls in that category where he who he is at least what we see in his interviews versus how he portrays himself two very different yeah. people like you he, know <laughs> he might he might come off as someone who doesn't like who takes life very who enjoys life and he is larger than life in his mm-hmm. off-screen persona as well. But yes. when you see movies like Band Baja Bharat and I'm not just talking about the sober ones like Lotera and Gully Boy, like even with something like Simba, yeah. that is a hard role. That yeah. is not, you have to, you have to take the audience in confidence when you're playing a character like this. It is not like you can't be, you can't be a jolly cop if you're also talking if you're also doing uh if you're also serving justice you can't be that jolly so Absolutely. the fact that he pulled that off the the fact that he pulled this guy off bit two off that is that is something only someone who's very serious in his profession can do and Absolutely. i think ranveer singh is that like off screen he might be that but when he's in front of the camera he means business He's a very serious actor. And I mean, yeah. the there are two cops I adore. One is um, Andy, um, Andy Samberg, uh, cop role in Brooklyn 99 and uh, Simba's character in this. Because, I mean, I love, there are several cop roles. I'm sure anyone who's listening will, will be able to list out like thousands of cop roles, which are like fantastically portrayed. But you're right. You forgot Andy of- Samberg's you forgot Andy Samberg's hero, John McClane. Exactly, right? Like the Die Hard series, be, the whole thing. You, you have a persona as a cop, which is very, very established. And it, of course, because of movies like Die Hard, especially. And, and then, you know, India has a whole gambit of, of cop mm-hmm. shows and, and cop movies, which are really well done. But to have, you're right. You have a comical side to things, and and to still be able to pull off a very a, a very serious context to the role, that's hard. And Ranveer Singh does that like really well. And what I find amazing is that Ranveer Singh and Anushka Sharma are like the two spectrumal opposites of of uh, acting. So Anushka Sharma, the she acts as she is. So yeah. when you see her in her interviews, 
she kind of you know portrays some some persona hmm. of that but it is still a version of her so yeah. this girl in band baja bharat is a version of anushka sharma because in the interviews when like some of the if the heroes try to cut her off or make fun of her she gives back hard and that's when you get to see <laughs> you know like, yeah. you get to see this side of hers which is in band baja bharat and and uh, ranveer singh is very he's madly in love with his wife he's very uh, fashionable he's very fashion forward he's very avant garde when it comes to those things he will do really um uh, what what would be considered extremely controversial things like the whole situation with his uh, nude photo shoot or whatever that came out and if, mm-hmm. and the indian reporters had a field day with it it wasn't nude but i mean you know he was in a speedo or whatever and uh, and no, then he was but like they didn't show they only showed like side of his butt yeah but the thing is we've seen side butt from john abraham in dostana so yeah, i'm not <laughs> dostana when it released it also didn't have twitter well okay <laughs> <laughs> I, the, and he is i i think he has done a lot of like risky stuff doing gali boy is risky doing dil mm-hmm. dhadakne those risky doing any of the sanjay leela bhansali roles is risky because it you can very well get lost into what is expected from you from the director rather than just let your own version of event shine through and he does that really well and you see band baja barat and you see pretty much any movie of ranveer singh you will feel extremely um you you feel a strong affection for him not for his yeah. act like the actor he is but for that character that he's played and bitu is bitu screws up a lot but bitu is also the only person that i think is a very easy person to fall in love with i was madly in love with bitu's character i didn't think there was anyone mm-hmm. cuter than bitu and this is in a time where i knew javi met aditya so oh, yeah. <laughs> so imagine in that timeline like i i i found javi met aditya you like oh by the time he opened up and by the time he um you know realized his full potential you know th- things had happened in in that movie of course but bitu is exactly who he is from the get go like even even in the way he orders food it's so adorable the way he orders food like ek veg chowmin ek chicken chowmin ek veg fried rice ek tere ko chahiye kya chicken fried rice and the, the, the stuff, even that is so lovable because he again this is we are talking when, about remember <laughs> yeah in that wedding like the first wedding that he crashes mm-hmm. and when he is there for the food and they लेटे हुए बहुत छोटी रखी छोटी रखी है Yeah. <laughs> the the commentary is so fascinating because first of all they have gate crashed a wedding and then this guy has the audacity to complain about the size of plates and he does it in a way in a way like yeah maybe the plates are small like just <laughs> you don't know this guy you don't know anything so yeah maybe the plates aren't like big enough but there is there is a, a a strange endearment to this character that is not larger than life you know that's not going to like you know break the stars and the moon for his heroine mm. uh but will definitely go out of the way to impress this girl that he yeah. likes and and that is this is a very kabhi ha kabhi na situation oh yes <laughs> and by the way like when you think about it the way it happens right like the first so they start interning with this so they start interning with this woman who's like this high profile wedding planner mm-hmm. called chanda mm-hmm. and she hires both of them because she wants ranveer ranveer in her team yes she wants bitu in her team because she finds him maybe she is fascinated by him or his personality or maybe she finds him hot or whatever but ranveer says that you know no if i come she shruti also comes with me and that's how they start interning but and you see in the next few minutes you see that uh he also likes the attention he also likes the attention that chanda gives her and they they both are enjoying like each other's company but when she snaps at shruti that's when he stands up for her like yeah. the way it happens also it wasn't like he's just standing up for shruti it was like he's standing up against someone who wants her 
she remember like when that fiasco happens with the flowers with the lilies and everything chanda snaps at shruti saying that why why didn't you organize the lilies properly yeah. and bittu and she tells bittu not to get in get, get in this like it's not about him but no ranveer wants to stand up for him because obviously yeah. he loves her and he loves her and the way also... they've shown it like he stands up against someone who likes him who likes him and he also likes her he he admires the way she cusses because chanda bam goes <laughs> shit 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 <laughs> shit <laughs> oh by the way why are fans will know what this is about you don't know why would why are fans know what there's there's a mayor or someone in that i don't know who, who he is but there's a character in, uh, in the wire in every season he does she it he has this, he has a specific really okay i yeah. probably forgot that was that was a wire call back okay 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 i yeah. see his name is clay davis so watch out like he's i don't know i think he's a mayor or something and in every season like he, he's a great character when every season they've given a sentence where he gets to say she it <laughs> and i think okay. that that's his trademark it's like you know how salman khan takes off sh- his shirt in every movie yeah he he says she it in every every scene and wire and even in every movie that he gets it's a straight like his trademark oh like like matthew mccorry is all right all right all right yes like, yeah. okay 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 i will i will so, check yeah, it out. i, yeah, I think i've one's... i've completely missed I, either i i remember and i've completely forgotten or, or that just did not register in my brain but yeah, so <laughs> but yeah there back. is he he you're right he is yeah. he does admire her like even when she, he finds out that she is not um, honest with her customers and she kind of cheats them out by giving them a higher margin and providing lesser products um he even then when anushka sharma's character says that she's a liar she she's a thief because she's not being true to her customers even then he says like she's not a liar she has business sense and and not mm-hmm. business sense she has business sense <laughs> <laughs> i love the delhi lingo man like yeah. okay so when band baja bharat came out we already had like uh the delhi movies that were happening like like khosla ka khosla and oh lucky lucky hoy so when band baja bharat happened it also felt very fresh like the i heard janak puriya and <laughs> thulla and all these delhi lingos it was really the, and then stuff and, you only hear like bread pakoda is not something you want to hear in mumbai it, yeah it's and and there is small little details they have pushed in uh, about pretty much anything when it comes to delhi culture and and you know delhi food and delhi style of dressing so so anushka sharma's dressing sense huh. is also very typically delhi girl she has a, you know she wears a business casual like she has a shirt and jeans but she has a little scarf on or a little stole on which is you know like she's modern she's she's modern day delhi girl but she's not without a dupatta she has some version of a dupatta <laughs> and she's yeah. um, she roams around in kurtis and jeans like which is very common i think not just in delhi anywhere in that point of time girls were wearing kurtis and jeans and it was very fashionable to have a jhola bag preeti zinta had made that thing superbly popular in um, lakshar and karina kapoor had made it popular in fana not fana what was it yuva <laughs> and uh, and uh, you know like the, the the whole setup of of band baja bharat is also continuity because you see anushka sharma who is a middle class girl she does have like altering outfits she probably has six outfits in the in the entire movie but she carries the same cloth bag because oh. it, and which is very typical if you have one cloth bag that's very pretty and very colorful you tend to like carry that till you're sick of it you don't switch out that the is, bags every now and then and that is I such just, a great <laughs> i just love it I like you would expect it. like a production house like yashraj uh you know would yeah uh would like put more attention on the actress's vanity and she should have a new clo- a new piece of clothing in every scene so the fact that oh my god really that happened yeah i i was <laughs> very i was pleasantly surprised because the 
the setup of a lot of this is not just indian movies all all movies all shows are guilty of this some of the shows that we really love and adore like friends where apparently people were like you know without a job for months could still afford like a high in new york apartment and new clothes every episode mm-hmm. new shoes every episode like i mean there are some things which were so well done and so delicately arranged for in ban baja bharat and it's very dear to me because it was a true portrayal of girls like me of <laughs> of you know uh, girls who bought like one statement piece and you kind of just you know <laughs> stuck to <laughs> that and and anushka sharma's character has been very true to that which i i appreciated as an audience and when you watch the movie again and again that's when you see those details and that's why this movie is so special we have yes, to take I agree. a from recording <laughs> because no huh. okay so blame me now okay to song sanket broke it to song and we were going to get copyright And also, we are very cheap people. We only have forty-minute zooms, which is why we stop. <laughs> Not because of any. <laughs> yeah, that is true. We we don't have um a lot of resources, guys. So we are making do with whatever we have. If anyone yeah. is you know on the path of starting their own YouTube channel, guys, <laughs> if you if you have the patience to stop the recording every forty forty minutes or so and and start again. Yeah, Zoom isn't yeah. bad for and them. anyone, <laughs> and anyone who's not cheap can give us money. <laughs> we have links, payment links on in the description below. Yes. So that Maybe. we can buy unlimited Zoom, and you won't get interrupted in this surreal conversation of one band baja barat. And yeah, I agree with like. it is such a great movie i also want to talk about the soundtrack and how yes. timeless it is yes 13 years later and we're still singing i i to still have ave ave in my in my playlist we all do yes i think the ones who have not watched the movie also have ave ave on their playlist like that's <laughs> yes. what is what, what is fascinating to me about that movie that they have probably never even like no even like 15 minutes of the movie but they know the songs yeah it's like uh, uh who was it i think it was salim suleiman right like they were on a high during that time mm-hmm. with qurban and there was another one like i think fana maybe i don't know yeah i think there is something to be said about music and movies i mean we I I recently spoke about it in in a video which I guess gets released before this one. It's a fantastic Marathi movie called um, Harishna Harish Chandraji Factory, and it's about the origin of Indian cinema. Um, and the irony of it is, you know, the origin of any cinema was without sound. So imagine kind of transforming from no sound to dialogues to song to music to musicals. and then almost every movie having a you know song and dance ban baja bharat is not different is it has i think really really good background score for one very mm. thematic of the storyline um yeah if if ranveer singh enters as a background score for him if anushka sharma enters as a background score for her uh when they are um when they are catering to chanda ma'am who's a, you know snobbish stuck up kind of a person the mm-hmm. background music becomes very um you know uh, modern and suave and when they are catering to a couple of middle class families in janakpur the the background music becomes more uh, you know trumpety based on like you know the marriage season and stuff like that because they're trying to show the the moorings of a you know of a budding business and stuff like that the the one other indian movie i've seen that happened in very classically well is dil chahta hai where the background score was just thematically perfect and ban baja bharat is like chef again chef's kiss music is chef's kiss in ban baja bharat and they had to have good music right like it's i think it's just unfair if you <laughs> if you have a movie around weddings and not have like chest thumping yeah. music or like <laughs> yeah. just something that gets you gets you going you know yes yeah what is an indian wedding if not like just having fun 
and that's and, why i think indian weddings have like a weeks weeks worth of celebrations because everybody needs a reason to dance and everyone also needs to um i don't know kind of unwind weddings mm-hmm. are a time where everyone unwinds yeah. and this movie is like you should watch it if you're ready to unwind you know the the yeah. theme of the movie is like it's really I, i'm really surprised that we have you know gone through the channel for what almost a year now we are, we are coming up on a year's anniversary guys and um we did not talk about this movie early on and i don't know why but i think you know like some movies tan baja barat hum tum there are those classic rom coms that not they're not even classic they're very non traditional rom coms that never really got you know the the appreciation and the you know the the heights of success that a couple of other romantic movies have in indian cinema and it's mm-hmm. it's fascinating that although this movie is like a a audience favorite it is heavily underrated not a lot of people know about yeah it. i mean like <laughs> when people think of rom coms they obviously think of jab we met and yes. look at this look at the time when this movie came out this came out in 2010 Yeah. right when jabbi met became like a super duper hit it yeah. was like 3 years later jabbi met and people were still talking about it rewatching it endlessly yes. so it was such a big task for them to to be that way mm-hmm. absolutely so the fact that they did that says so much so much mm-hmm. about the direction and the writing the writing was done by habib fazal and directed by manish sharma habib fazal went on to do I don't know many. I don't know what all movies, but I, I one movie that I love of his is Do Do Ni Char. It's another movie that is uh, based in Delhi, around a family or around a middle class family who are working very hard, and it's a very uh, small town story about a family who is making ends meet, mm-hmm. and it's 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 funny as hell because. it's the way they manage to do things in their daily lives obviously dealing some of them are dealing in illegal shit the dad's working hard the mom's working 24/7, 24/7. to get yeah like that i it, it's it's also a very sweet movie and i think the, for me the mvp for bandwaja bharat is also the dialogues oh yes fact that indian movie goes weren't ready for uh, they didn't know what the delhi lingo is mm-hmm. so them nailing it while they while the audiences are unfamiliar about something i would say that's i would say that's uh, uh that's good experimentation absolutely absolutely i mean the even in jabbi met you get to see the beautiful compare like the comparative behavior between a bombay guy or a mumbai guy and um a north indian girl because that's her introduction to him right mai sikhni hu bhatinda ki i'm a sikh from <laughs> bhatinda <laughs> the i love that you know we start getting introduced to the the origins of of characters at around this time around jabbi met and around band baja bharat because you don't get to see that in a lot of indian movies people are from india <laughs> and and they go to switzerland to announce their love and then they come back to india like when you don't yeah. know where they're from <laughs> <laughs> or what their origin story is why are they from you know like if they are from north india they, they do they have the characteristics of a north indian girl if they are from mumbai do they have the characteristics of a of a mumbai boy and i think mm-hmm. that is the beauty of of those kind of movies jabbi met and band baja bala definitely fall in that category where you get to see two people who are uh, you know like locally they, they seem like they're from the same area but the way they are raised makes them different like ranveer singh is like raised in a family that that comes to the city to buy a tractor for their agricultural business and that is what is important to them because that's the family business and anushka sharma grows in a family where she's very independent she has one sister um her parents are very happy to uh you know postpone her her wedding and postpone the wedding proposals that are pouring in for her because they show this quick scene where um 
when she enters the house, she sees her aunt and she goes, <laughs> oh, she's here. <laughs> she's, yeah. Immediately, like, pissed off. <laughs> she's like, Ugh, she's here. <laughs> and then, no, her and then when like, they're ready about it, and yeah. then when her dad agrees and like, please, you can go now. <laughs> <laughs> and her mom is always so charged up. Like the first time she meets Ranveer Singh, what is your name, beta? <laughs> yeah, like, beta. Bintu. Spelling. B i t o o anki. So good. It's okay. It's... Can we talk about? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. You can continue. No, can we talk about what? I I can keep talking about this. This yeah, is yeah, like non-stop for me. <laughs> can we talk yeah, about I what? Can... Go ahead. Go ahead. This movie. If you notice, is a movie about they they're trying to preach abstinence. Did you notice? Like anybody who's preaching, don't have sex before marriage. They should show them. They should show this movie to people who they are trying to preach. Like if you have sex, you lose your business. Like before they have sex, everything is going fine for them. Everything is hunky dory. Oh. But after they have sex, oh. They part ways. So it's like the they've, they've attached a apart. negative emotion to sex, basically. Yes. Okay. Don't I have see, sex I see before marriage. Don't have sex. Okay. Especially don't have passionate sex. I mean, like, I I don't know about you, but I yeah. always, I leave the room when the sex scene comes in this. It's so huh? passionate. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I can't. It's very awkward for me to see this movie with my parents. Your parents, okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't mention it. <laughs> like, I just thought that like, you have the movie <laughs> going on. Like... And you're like, like, oh man, they're having sex. Instead of like fast yeah. forwarding, you just leave the room. <laughs> Let them have their sex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like, I, it feels like I'm intruding. Like, oh, it oh definitely God. feels like we should not be watching watching ah. them do what they're doing. And that's how you know it's, it is a fantastic kissing scene, a fantastic oh. sex scene. The 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 morning after is also very very well done. Um, mm. I I yeah you're right. It it definitely feels like we have walked into something we're not supposed to watch. One hundred percent. And there's no like nudity or anything. Okay, guys. So if huh. if people have not watched the movie, there's no nudity, but it is shockingly effective. Like that, it's just a really good sex scene. Yes. One of the best sex scenes in any movies. Cool. Mm-hmm. Now that we have spoken. <laughs> yeah. like, how kids... do we go on from here? We were just talking about movies. Kids do don't have sex it? before marriage. Um, well, that is in, in very weirdly, I never thought about that. Yeah, they do attach, I, I guess, in some way a negative emotion to sex, but we also should remember that the <laughs> Well, let, let's go a couple of steps back. So when this girl enters her house and she sees her aunt, her aunt is generally over there with like a proposal for a, like an arranged marriage situation. And mm-hmm. her father is like, well, you know, we've promised her till 25 to, you know, run her business, give give business a go, and then she can get married. And she kind of immediately says, you know, I'm 22, I have three more years. You can't force me to get married right now. And so you see a girl who's very attached to her, goals and very attached to her ambitions and when she finally walks out of the the job with Chanda and she decides to start her own business with Bittu um, she is also I think that is the beginning of the attraction for me huh. because if if I was in that situation and if I was as headstrong uh, about my life and about my career like she was and there's this guy who's just like you know what screw Chanda you we, we are going to do our own business like after this it's your Shadi Mubarak and that that dialogue is I think that would be enough for me to be like yes yes sir mm-hmm. <laughs> okay sir <laughs> <laughs> yes, like, yes girl yeah like I would oh, okay okay but <laughs> I'll follow you <laughs> I mean, there is, uh, or or I will in uh, Anushka Sharma's case, I will uh, let you follow me. So uh, there is, there is. My something... also, uh, even my imaginary ovary is exploded. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. 
Like, you're meta- oh. Say you're metaphorical <laughs> ovaries. Saying imaginary ovaries is just weird. Say I mean, I also felt something for Ranveer Singh after that. In that okay, I see. Uh, but but yeah, there is there is so much so much detail to the story. They're explaining like both ends. They're, they're also showing a girl who's trying to run a business with a clock on her head. Like she has an actual ticking clock where she has to like wind up, get the business up and running so that she, mm-hmm. you know, when she gets married, she's established and she's established enough that she doesn't have to quit the business. So yeah. And she can we has... talk about how mm-hmm. fucked up it was that they were trying to get her married when she was like 20? Who? Like even in 2010, even... In 2010, this is this still bad. Yeah. The thing is, you know, I remember one of my friends saying, oh, you know, that's common in Delhi. But the thing is, I grew up in Mumbai. Yeah. Um, I had a friend who was 19 and she was married off yeah. when she was 19 to a 30-year-old man. Uh, and it's legal to get married at 18 for girls, right? And 21 for boys, something like that. Isn't that 15. the law? No, it's 18 for it was... girls, 21 okay. for 15, 15 thing has started in US, but there, there is no minimum in a lot of states in US for, you could be 10 and get married in a lot of states in US. So, so you're old enough to decide who you want to spend your life with, but not old enough to get a drink. Let me tell you something disturbing. You don't need the child's consent. You need the parent's consent. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, when I started today's recording, I didn't. I wasn't expecting. I I therapy. I recently. I, I have to still fact check this, but I recently um, saw a video where they were talking about this on YouTube, and I was like, "What?" And anyway, the, but the, stepping away from the and child marriage. I thought topic, it was. This is supposed to be. Band Baja Bharat. This is, is a happy movie. Is a happy. Let's movie. let's keep let's, this. Let's right. stick to the happy. Let's stick to the happy movie. Yeah. Uh, but. But yeah, the and and Ranveer Singh on the other hand has a clock of what like if he doesn't get this business up and running, he'll have to go, uh, you know, join his family's agriculture business, which he doesn't want to do. Mm-hmm. So two people who are on a path that they don't want and they are steering away from it by completely investing in Shadi Mubarak, and I don't know what is the what is the so when Bad Baja Bharat shows up in like any of the streaming platforms it's translated as band horns and revelry yeah something like that <laughs> it's, it's, Doesn't good. Make sense. it's a good no. translation no and i don't mind that translation i think it's okay for me it's it's worse than let the heart what the heart let the heart let the heart be or something. It's... Let let the hearts beat. Dil yeah. rakhne do. No, no, no. It was yeah. uh, dil chata hai. Something like that. What the heart wants. Yeah, something. <laughs> Look, the translations are always... Good. The title translations are always going to be bogus, but the dialogue translation for this movie was pretty good. <laughs> My favorite is... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Good, good, good. My good. favorite is... Uh, kuch kuch hota hai. <laughs> something <No>. is happening. <laughs> This is the best translation. Not horns and revelries. Sounds and like a horror movie. Cavalries. Nothing. Like something that. is happening. Sounds like a horror movie. Say the title in a whisper. Ah, something is something <laughs> is happening can also be an erotic. I don't know okay. what erotic cinema you're watching that makes you think that that can be at any point of time used in, a, in an erotic way. Something if you're is saying, happening. If you're saying when you're watching an erotic movie oh god something is not happening with you then please visit please please consult some please consult sex expert from the newspaper (laughs) (laughs) ask the sex expert ask the sex expert if anyone didn't grow up in in india and doesn't understand why this is silly to us there was a column that specifically answered sex questions and it was called ask the sex expert and mm-hmm. um, and teenage boys used to lose their shit. Yes, he did yeah. what with his aunt? I think yeah. like a lo- half of the half of the questions were like just for like funny sake. 
I don't think they were true also. I think there's a lot of like big questions that I don't know if they were even real. I think they just put it over there so that people would read the column. Like I don't even think. Hmm. But anyway, if if you guys don't know about this, just look up sex sex pot column India, and then it it's a meme gold mine. That's all I have. Yeah, yeah. And I used to. I lost my shit when I found out that the doctor who was answering he was at that time like ninety years or ninety five years or something. Experienced. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like you, you Gafner can go fucking sage sex. and sex. <laughs> <laughs> But but anyway, coming back coming back to the movie, we have weird ass segues. But uh, yeah, why but do anyway. you think this this video is going to go ninety minutes? Yeah, where I mean, half of the time we are talking about unrelated stuff. Unrelated stuff, but you know that's how we talk about movies because it it kind of unlocks a lot of like core memories for us because hmm. sometimes we talk about stuff that is happening right now, but talking about something that happened like over. 13 years ago. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a whole so old. feature between us and Van Vajra. <laughs> yes. I mean like the teenager who was born when this released can get married now. <laughs> oh god. Boom. Call back. Weird. Weird as depressing call back. Weird but true. And uh, but but yeah, the the movie in in itself is 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 it about like the building of a business? Absolutely, I think anyone who's starting out on a business, especially in a partnership, it's a fantastic movie to watch because yes. you see two people really like pushing each other to do something, to take a risk, to be better versions of themselves, and you you see, uh, you know, Anushka Sharma's character kind of, you know, really pushing Bittu to become more responsible, to be more, mm-hmm. uh, you know, alert and to to take into consideration the business. Because when they make their first big money and he's like, oh my gosh, so you and I each get like, you know, like 30 lakhs rupees or something. And she goes, no, 15 lakhs each because we have to put money back into the business. Otherwise, how are we going to build? We're just going to spend everything. And I really like the the way they have pushed those little details in because whenever she's scared to take the next leap, like she's, she keeps organizing like the, you know, the smaller package weddings still done. We sing tells her like, okay, we need to get bigger clients because we, we can't just keep doing this. We, we need, because there's a fantastic scene where he's talking to somebody and he says, okay, we have the silver package, the gold package, and then the diamond pla- uh, package. And we have <laughs> platinum package as well. <laughs> it's like copper package. Yes, and then that we do funerals. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that is so just so well done. The, the the details that they push into to ready us for the next scene that is coming is is awesome because when you see them take their first client, it's a very modest budget. And she asked them, she's like, How much are you going to spend on this? So he says two, two and a half lakhs. Uh, in the, uh, two, two and a half lakh rupees and and she um, says okay you give us the two and a half lakhs and we'll figure it out so they haven't yet established what they're going to charge their clients which is very smart right because you're like I'm not going to charge you more than what you were intending on spending but I will use this wedding as a means to promote my service every day because mm-hmm. it's India if one person's getting married in a neighborhood chances are eight other people are about to get married very soon so <laughs> the the way they have shown the the realistic build of that is is really 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 good mm. because it's very difficult to talk about the growth of a business in a movie right this is not a show you don't get to see the breakdown of each event <laughs> and the yeah. build up to the to the first big break you you have to push in as many details as you can and i think the dialogues and the exchanges that keep happening between these two pivotal characters is is Mind blowing! Like even the way they hire their chef for their wedding, I love that scene. Oh yeah, oh, so sweet! Such a good scene. Such a good scene. Like, when he, what does he say? Karchi to, karchi khana banayega or something like that. Right? Mm, karchi to, huh? It's such a it's such a fantastic way to 
for someone to come in and say, okay, I know we we didn't have a good start, but I could still, you know, do the flowers and the decoration. And I know someone who could be a good chef for, for your wedding. And she kind of, kind of also questions him, right? She says, I don't know this man. And, and she, and his response is, you know what people talk about in a wedding? It's not the decoration, it's the food. <laughs> and I, I love that they've given the minor characters like such, like such heavy, heavy dialogues. <laughs> right? I remember like when I saw it with my parents, like my mom's mom's a foodie, mom's a proper foodie. Mm -hmm. So when he asks, you know what the people like more than the decorations? And my mom said food. <laughs> he said food. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Yeah. Yes. And and she's like, yeah, she's apprehensive about it because he has never done catering before. And he's like, you're also doing it for the first time. Oof. Great so, do you know what? Like, between this and Rocket Singh, the guy who, he's the guy who gives newcomers chance. The yeah. guy who says it. <laughs> Even in Rocket Singh, he gives Rocket Singh also, yeah. <laughs> He's a very good actor. I wish I remembered yeah. his name. But he's, he, uh, so this is the guy who I'm does the flowers and decoration. And he, he has like maybe seven or eight dialogues in the movie. He has maybe five minutes of screen time in the entire movie. But he does it so well even when he calls out Bittu on his arrogance and, and he kind of like uh when when Bittu and and uh what is her name? Shruti. When Bittu and Shruti have a falling out and uh <laughs> and and this this flowers decor guy he immediately understands why this is happening and he looks at Bittu and goes babe <laughs> <laughs> Like he called basically calls him a moron. And I love that, you know, that they are people who are not involved directly with a couple, but they have seen them build a business. So they understand basic things. They understand chemistry. They understand vibes and energies between people. And just by observation, he knows something happened <laughs> between these two. And he has like, even when they're celebrating and, and the music stops and he goes, okay, I'm going home. My bones are breaking. And, and he, these are things I have heard my uncles and my cousins say at the end of a party when, you know, like you take like a five second break and like, no, no, I'm going home. I'm so tired. I can't do this anymore because, you know, they're like in their forties and they're done. <laughs> they <laughs> want to go home. <laughs> I, I really like those, those little, uh, those little dialogues that the minor characters had. Um, and, and they were so impactful because you remember that. Like in Jab We Met, you remember the hotel receptionist. You remember the, the police guy. You remember the driver that was driving the car really slowly. Like, hmm. Because they give so much attention to the minor characters. And again, this happens in Indian cinema. It's not that it doesn't happen. Like Shole had like this one guy um, uh, asking, uh, every time there was an English word used, he would ask, what does that word mean in Shole? So he, uh, oh yeah, yeah, you know. like he, he, it, it's not that it doesn't happen. Of course, it happens, but to to have it woven into a story, not just for comic relief, but to have it woven into a story where it makes sense, where it's not just like a cutesy distraction on the side. Um, I did not see that happen till movies like Jab We Met and Band Baja Bharat, and I deeply appreciate these movies because of that. Because it, it's hard. It's hard to do this. The, no. This is in a time where, again, it's not a show. It's a movie. This is very difficult to pull off in a movie, in my opinion. Like, mm -hmm. in Ted Lasso, you can spend an entire episode on on uh, Coach Beard. You can't do that in a movie. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, yeah. But the, anyway. Band Baja Bharat as a series would, like, spend a lot of time showing how platonic the relationship with, is when they are uh, when they are doing the business like there's a sweet scene where they crash in their office only and they sleep on the same bed when they are tired that is such a sweet scene yeah. like we we get to know that when sober they know what's important <laughs> you know the thing is <laughs> i think that to me is far more sexually charged than the sex. 
Okay. Because, because while I mean, you they are, by the way, while they are watching Tushin. Yes. <laughs> I don't care what people say. Tushin is a fantastic movie. And and Tushin Fuck is also people. a very sexy movie, right? Yes, it's a sexy right? movie it's that sexy brought movie. zero figure in Bollywood. Not because of that. I think it is just sexy because of the songs. Like songs are really good. <laughs> yeah, Karina uh, Kapoor throws a bra at. Akshay Kumar. Oh yeah, and she says yes. And he's scandalized. He's like, what, what is this? <laughs> like, it's a Shapra. Oh God. Yeah, but I think, oh, yeah. okay, so they're preparing for the first big wedding and they, they've they set up everything and they, they've they just, they kind of have to crash for a couple of hours. So instead of going back home, getting ready, Bittu lives in the office because he doesn't have a family in that city. Um, Anushka Sharma goes, I'll just sleep over here. Bitu doesn't say anything about it. She doesn't. And also she informs her parents. Yeah. I'm going to crash here. Which is like, I don't know why, but to, in my brain, it's like, I'm going to tell my parents, like I'm going to tell people that, you know, I, I, I'm I answerable to the, that I'm at his place. So that way, you know, there's like a, like a lock in my brain. Like I can't do anything. Okay, this is not the time to do stuff because I've already announced that I'm going to be alone. Over also, here. His, her mom would be okay. Her mom is extremely sexy. Did you notice? <laughs> she is very fashionable. She and because amongst all the aunts over there, like you know, with their three four blouses and stuff, she has like a halter back blouse and and she's like you know <laughs> she has straightened hair. So she, you see where. Shruti gets her edge from and I think it comes from her mom. <laughs> <laughs> because Shruti's dad is kind of like Bittu. He's a bit like Bittu if you mm. think about it. Like he's a little adorable and cutesy and but yeah, the I think I think that scene was a little more because it's like a flash scene, right? They're watching the yeah. movie and then she like crawls into bed and she goes to sleep and he keeps watching the movie and then he goes to sleep five minutes later. Like I don't know. It's very, it's something. It yeah, it's, it it, it was sweet thoughts. for me. That's what I'm saying. Like, if they are sober, I don't think they would have ever hooked up. Ever. I think hmm. they got drunk with the intention of hooking up. That's my All theory right. on most drunk hookups. Most most consensual drunk hookups are, I think it's because they cannot admit to wanting to do that sober they're like oh i i was drunk so like you have something to blame it on that's my humble opinion about most drunken hookups like it is well consensual drunken hookups where you know like the intention is to hook up but you're kind of afraid to admit it so i don't know that at least that's what i think like because i thought i thought I thought it was like they always like they were so busy with their lives, busy with their businesses and Shadi Mubarak was their priority. That's why they could not that's why they that's why I think Ranveer Singh forgot about his attraction also towards Anushka Shadi because he wants he wanted to do this with her. He wanted her, her company was more important to him than his infatuation. Yeah. Also it's kind of important for him somehow to be uh, stable and established in front of her. Like that's important to him because uh-huh. in the first wedding when he's stealing electricity from the neighboring building and she starts screaming uh-huh. at him and she's like, no, you get a generator. And he's like, it costs 15,000. And then she's like, I don't care. We are not going to steal. You go get a generator. And and he yeah. gets a generator. I mean, he... Like, okay, mommy. Okay, mommy. So, I mean, I don't know. I wish, personally, I wish they did not show them getting drunk and hooking up. I just wish they hooked up. That would have been awesome. Like... Oh, no. That's what I'm saying. That It made sense for me because that's the only time they could be... Like, there was so so much sexual tension that it it only... Like, it only came out because they were in uninhibited. Yes, that's true. And I mean, the story flips very quickly. One of them is not drunk, right? Both of them were drunk. And and she, you know, is very happy with everything. They they bought their new truck, 
remember like when she says like there are going to be thousand tempos with my company's name on it and the first truck that they buy together and she's so she's so happy with those things like everything that he does i think he does to impress her so mm-hmm. yeah i think you're right he he definitely was he continued to be infatuated with her otherwise he wouldn't have kissed her and that kiss mm-hmm. is so ridiculously cute like when he kind of like <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and he like checks, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's not as drunk as her, right? Like, I think they're both out of it. That is the way. That is the only way I can unawkwardly explain it. I don't think either of them are in are in a state to make a decision like that. Which is why, again, but then so he he backs lie. off. He backs off the first time, right? And then she's like, he no, pushes no, her. He pushes her. Yeah, away. yeah, yeah. And she continues to hug, him, but they're still not making oh. out see they're just like they're just like sloppily dancing at the- <laughs> <laughs> which is why i'm like when when consensual drunken hookups happen um and this is why i'm i'm saying the word consensual again and again because it's kind of like oh you know i want to but i don't have i need some liquid courage to get through it that's why in real life or in movies i'm always like you like someone don't get drunk man just <sighs> Like someone, tell them. Don't well, kiss them. That's directly. another. Like the way Bittu did. Where you're... <laughs> like, <laughs> can I kiss you? And, and then if if no, then okay. But if yes, then ooh. Ooh. So... <laughs> also, also a good uh, training video for people who want to teach kids not to do drinking. <sighs> Yeah, kids cause... don't drink and don't have sex before and don't marriage. have sex because that ruins businesses and that and before friendships. marriage actually okay, don't fine. have sex after marriage also just <laughs> just shadi mubarak shadi just... mubarak why are you guys trying to have sex and shit man <laughs> hang out <laughs> run a business <laughs> but yeah you're right i i did not think about that till you mentioned there is a negative emotion attached to sex and intimacy in mm-hmm. the... like it you, okay. you regret it once it happens like that shouldn't happen cool um i just want to say thank you so much guys for listening to us and we're going to try to do you know more face you know face forward videos and uh, you know kind of like show you up our pretty fullness and our handsomeness and and uh, we really we really like you guys you know the ones who are listening to us even if it says background noise we appreciate it that's a view for us and if you are trying to you know explore new cinema we are a good channel because we really we really love movies we really do and we love the memories associated with it so if you feel like you know you you're missing your college friends come hang out with us because it's kind of the same thing and do like share and subscribe we love you so much and we'll see you soon bye bye Bye. (laughs) i love it do it again do it again do it again i'll do it with you (laughs) i love it